So we talked about rotavirus, which causes very severe diarrhea and even kills kids in countries where they don't get vaccinated. And now we're going to talk about norovirus, which does not cause as severe of diarrhea and does not kill as much, but it infects a lot more people. And actually it infects people of all ages, unlike rotavirus, which tends to affect kids. So if you're getting exhausted at this point and you're thinking to yourself, do I really need to know this one? The answer is absolutely, because this is the number one cause of gastroenteritis in the U.S. And that includes all causes, uh, viruses, bacteria, parasites, you name it. And by the way, norovirus is a Khaleesi virus, and that's a name you might hear. So let's talk about how it presents. So first of all, people love to talk about where norovirus presents. So they always talk about cruise ships as a common site. Uh, there have been some publicized outbreak at Chipotle's, not as publicized outbreaks in the military, schools, nursing homes. And the bottom line really is that norovirus is absolutely everywhere. It's good to know about cruise ships for exam purposes, but in the real world, it's everywhere. Bathrooms, doorknobs, you name it. So what happens with infection? So there is a one to two day incubation period. And so after one to two days, you start having vomiting and diarrhea. Remember, it's a two bucket disease. Now, children tend to have worse diarrhea and adults tend to have worse vomiting. One of the nicknames is actually winter vomiting disease. But the key thing to remember is the diarrhea is less severe than with rotavirus. It causes less dehydration. It doesn't last as long. And so it kills fewer people. Now, you can also get systemic symptoms like fever, myalgias, malaise, headaches. And on the flip side, norovirus can be totally asymptomatic. And in that case, you get infected, the virus replicates in your GI tract and gets shed in your stool and you potentially transmit it to someone else all without you ever knowing. And actually, whether you have symptoms or not, you can actually shed the virus for weeks after infection. And once you shed it, the virus can survive for quite a while in the environment so you're starting to get a sense for why this virus is everywhere. So most people will stay at home, recover on their own, but what if someone comes to the doctor and they have what appears to be viral gastroenteritis? How do you know whether it's norovirus or something else? So actually it would be pretty much impossible to tell unless there were a known outbreak. But one thing we do have is a PCR panel that looks for DNA or RNA of all different causes of gastroenteritis and this is an example of a PCR panel as you can see it looks for viruses, bacteria, parasites but usually this would be a total waste of money so unless you have a patient who's immunocompromised or hospitalized don't bother because people will get better on their own there's no treatment other than hydration so let's ask the the big question why does norovirus affect so many people Two reasons. One, we kind of touched on, it's very infectious. But two, after you're infected, you only get a very brief immunity. So you can get reinfected. And actually, you can get norovirus every couple months if you want. Now, as you can imagine, this is bad news for vaccines because if the virus itself can't make you immune, then what are you going to put in a vaccine that will make you immune? So, not surprisingly, there's no vaccine for norovirus. And so, get those two buckets ready.